I mean, we would play back here while our parents drove down the street. Yeah, you know, those were the days you were allowed to, you know, I don't know, live and be a kid. Hello and welcome to BMNG Drive. I'm your host, David and Ark, and today we're taking a look at one of my favorite mods ever. It's been updated, and this is the code name uh, Olds. <laughs> it's one of my favorite mods, and I can't remember the exact name. There we go. Code name Olds Full Size. It's been updated now to work with the latest version of BMNG. It's got really cool. Uh, classic 80s style cars but there's also a mod that goes with it that gives you things like the uh, Oldsmobile um, Regency vehicles there's another set over here that gives you the classic uh, Chevy Caprice oh my gosh man <laughs> oh this is uh, you, you want to talk about old school especially if we uh, jump over here to the sedan highway patrol I mean, this is classic 80s police car. I love the huge lights on top. That's a little wackadoo, man. But, oh my gosh, this is uh, amazing. Um, before, I, I'm, I'm going to speak out of turn. I know someone will correct me. But in my brain, anyway, before the uh, Ford Crown Vic became the kind of highway patrol car of choice, there was the Caprice... And the Caprice Classic is what uh, it came to be known. These things were everywhere, man. Oh, it was awesome. Uh, <laughs> uh, I mean, this just has the absolute classic look and feel of the, the old boxy Caprice cars. Oh my gosh, that is awesome. Holy smokes. All right, so I figured we'd just kind of take a look through. Um, I know from the description there are a couple of really cool things that are available in um, some of the uh, vehicles. Look at this beast. Oh, my gosh. And again, I mean, these things were everywhere. It just... Uh. Okay, so I think this is one. If I hit O... Oh, the window comes down and the door folds. But then if I hit O... Now, my understanding is if I hit O twice, yeah, it opens like a door. Look at that. That is awesome. Holy cow. I, I have to tell you, man, you guys that come up with these mods are brilliant. Oh, my gosh. That is awesome. So, I am curious. Oh, I love the boxes in the back. Oh, wait. Is that a videotape? Oh, wait, wait. What is that? Look, the window's now a little janked. Oh, no, I don't, I don't know what that is. What is this? Oh, it's a... <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> oh, my gosh. It's, it's one of those, like, little storage kits. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. I guess it's supposed to be, like, a tackle box. All right, so I say we just drive around and let the boxes bounce. There we go. There's one. Oh, those boxes are clipping. There we go. Probably shouldn't drive with the uh, tailgate down. Oh, look. Oh, oh, the glass is broken. Oh, that is great. Oh, my gosh. That, um, seriously, that was awesome. Okay, we got to get in this thing. Oh, that is so 80s. I mean, it really is. The fake wood trim and, and the style of the buttons. Oh, my gosh. The, the uh, cassette player. <laughs> Holy cow. Oh, oh my gosh. This is, uh, this is, uh, memories, seriously. Uh, we didn't have a Caprice wagon as a kid, although we did have a, a station wagon at one point uh, when I was a kid. And uh, in those days, you were actually allowed to do things like, uh, hang on, let me stop the car. Oh, I love the brake light. Oh, look at that. That is so cool. Um, but in those days, you could do things like get in the very back, what we called the way back. And, I mean, we would play back here while our parents drove down the street. Yeah, you know, those were the days you were allowed to, you know, I don't know, live and be a kid. Um, but, uh, oh, that is so cool. <laughs> Oops. 
Oh my gosh. Oh, it needs blacked out windows. Okay, I love there's... Oh, wait, no, that's the... Okay. Oh my gosh, the TV antenna boomerang style on the back of the car. Once again, I mean, you'd see cars every now and then that had this. Those were definitely the rich folks, man. If you had a TV with the boomerang antenna, yeah, you were, you were, you had the money. Okay, so supposedly, um, I can come back here and sit in the back, and if I hit O... You know, there's a 10-year delay, <laughs> delay in the Soviet Union of delivery of an automobile. It's awesome. And only one out of seven families in the Soviet Union oh. own automobiles. Big old bulky behemoth of a limo. Oh. That is awesome right there, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. Truly one of my favorite mods. I mean... you would ever want to do that in a limo but I don't know this and and these particular style cars for whatever reason invokes oh didn't even know that was there invokes Mythbusters to me you know I just these, these kinds of vehicles Mythbusters would be using to you know dispel certain myths or confirm them whatever <laughs> very very cool all right all right let's bring out we got to bring out somebody who's just freaking awesome let's see what do we got what uh, oh my goodness oh look at this a classic wagon with a blown engine in the side pipes <laughs> seriously what <laughs> oh my gosh look at this oh and it's got the stick driver oops okay well i'm not very good at that since oh my gosh yeah <laughs> Very poor steering, or unless I already broke the steering, which that could very well be, you know. Oh man. Oh, I see it's got dragster steering, okay. Tiny little tires up front. Woo! Floating and falling. It's definitely some serious head jerking moves for that guy. Oh yeah. Crunch time. This is so silly, oh, and yet so awesome. I love the uh, blue crushed um, velvet interior or whatever that is. I don't even know what you call that. Oh, that is so funny. Oh. And again, oh, I just this is so cool. I love that. What an awesome, awesome effect. Oh, that is, oh, I love it. I love it, I love it. Let's see what else we got. And, and I love the fact that they put... I mean, they went ahead and put that in. I'm actually surprised, to be perfectly honest, that uh, the folks at BeamNG are letting this be an official mod because they're so anti-brand. You know, you can't put real brands in the game. So it, I'm amazed this is actually allowed. Um, and I'm impressed uh, that they're letting it be on there because most of the other ones that people make that actually mimic... A true brand with the brand name in there you know you can go find it in the forums but you're not gonna find it as in a mod so anyway just saying oh this is cool this is the POTUS limo oh my gosh that is so cool okay that is awesome now technically speaking it should be way harder to bust out the windows uh, in a POTUS limo because, you know, supposedly the windows are all uh, bulletproof and look at the waving flags. Dude, this is awesome. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, so let's see what we can do here. Yeah, look at that. Uh, okay, I'm very impressed. The glass shatters but does not actually break and fall out. That would stand a reason for bulletproof glass. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Now, in in fairness, I did not test the other limo. Oh wait, yes, I, yes, I did. Actually, the the glass broke out of the other limo, right? Did it? I don't know. Oh, we're gonna drive across the desert for no reason whatsoever as the president. 
<laughs> oh my gosh. I have to say, the sounds and the cool effects that uh, you know, folks are able to do, oh, there goes the flag, um, that folks are able to do in BeamNG uh, is just, it is awesome. It's, it really is growing in to be uh, a very, very cool uh, simulator and uh, ultimately becoming a very cool game. I would, I just, I don't know. I, it, it's hard to imagine what this uh, game is, is going to become, what the simulator is going to become as time goes on. I did want to see, I did want to see something real quick. Here, wait. Stop. Stop, stop, stop. Alright. Let me go. Oh, I don't know why I thought that was something else. I, I, the the uh, the red and white lights inside, for some reason, from the outside, looked like they were something different. Look at the cassette holder. <laughs> this is great. Oh, and the push-button lighter. Oh, my gosh. This is so... Whew, so 80s. So, so 80s. Oh, man. And I say, if you're going to do an off-road 4x4 Caprice wagon... We might as well make it 80s pink, man. <laughs> Why not? Yeah. Oh, wow. That's got a... Uh oh It's definitely back heavy. Oof. Good night. Okay, well, now that we got rid of all of the extraneous stuff we didn't really need, <laughs> let's go for it. Oh, man, that's so cool. I'm guessing the lights don't work so well. Well, we still have one of the lights. <laughs> Yahoo! Oh. Well, I guess technically both front lights still work. The one's just kind of bent under the bottom. Not going to do as much good. Oh, yeah. I have to tell you what, this thing, it can take a beating and still keep on going. That's pretty freaking awesome. Yeah. Ooh, okay, did we finally? Yeah, there we go. We, we broke some stuff under the front end. But, that's still not stopping it. Uh, well, we got Flip Turn Upside Down. We are the Fresh Prince of Caprice Classic. There we go. <laughs> awesome, awesome stuff. I'm going to leave a link to the mod, which is actually two mods in one. You have to get the... Um, code name olds full size and then you can go and get the uh, add-on with the caprice classic and the uh, regency um, and that gives you access to all this really really cool uh, throwback 80s <laughs> vehicle nostalgia you name it that is so so cool awesome awesome stuff hope you enjoyed that and uh man whoo Feel free to leave any questions, problems, suggestions, horror stories down in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you next time on BNG Drive. Let's take this big old bad olds up and over the ramp and see what we can do here. Maybe I'll probably miss now that my camera's off. Nope, we made it. Yeah. Oh. I don't believe this is a parking zone. <laughs>